Hi Internet, I'm Katrina with New Media Rights. So in the last video, I told you that putting the copyright symbol on your work is not required to get copyright protection. I also explained that putting the symbol on there does provide some advantages. So since it's so easy to put on, you may as well do it if you want to reserve all your rights to a work. Since you've already watched those last two videos, you're probably wondering if there's anything more to say about that copyright symbol. There's just one more little thing. Since you're going to want to put notice on your work, I'm going to tell you what a proper copyright notice looks like. A proper copyright notice that has legal effect doesn't require much. It only requires three things. The copyright symbol, the first year of publication, and the name of the copyright owner. So if I wrote a book in the year 2012 and I own the rights to it, it would look something like this. Copyright 2012 Katrina. Simple as that. There's one little change if you want to put a copyright notice on a sound recording of yours like a CD. For a sound recording, it would be pretty much the same except with a P in a circle instead of a C because copyright law identifies physical sound recordings as phono records, which means it would look something like this. P with a circle in it, 2012, Katrina. Makes sense, right? If you don't know how to make a copyright symbol, check out our video, What is the Symbol for Copyright, for the deets on that. And for us to dispense more deets on the relevant portions of copyright law, why not donate a little? It helps keep us going, and you can donate on our YouTube channel or at newmediarights.org. If you do, I promise I'll stop saying deets.